The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Hi, Dr. Rudy Cashman. Welcome uh, to our diabetes uh, stopping, uh, preventing, reversing uh, type 2 diabetes uh, show. We've had this for many years, uh, and I feel so passionate about it because uh, I feel that we can prevent uh, getting type 2 diabetes, which has 30, 50 diseases attached to it. They can all be avoided. What we're doing in medicine today uh, is we're treating the disease and giving medication. Some get better, some we even save, save their lives. But I'm for both. But the main thing I am for uh, is preventing the disease. There's been great hesitancy in the medical community. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's the money, honey. I don't know what the reason is to the point that uh, I'm getting a little bit more upset about it because we can prevent so much disability uh, and, uh, and, and illness that I've declared war on diabetes. This is Rudy's war on diabetes, and I would do everything as long as I can talk to teach people how to prevent stop their illness, get rid of it. You can get rid of type diabetes six weeks by eating the right food, a little bit of exercise. You can get off medications, save yourself thousands of dollars. Um, most people who just accept the diagnosis, diagnosis, I heard somebody tell me recently, well, I respect my diabetes. Well, if you would take medication, maybe live a few extra years, but I don't want you to respect, res alone respect it. I want you to get rid of it. Most people don't realize you can get rid of it. Well, my whole family's got it. Your whole family's got it because you're all eating the wrong food. That's the reason you all got it, with an occasional exception. You can get rid of it. And uh, what are my bullets? What are my bombs since I declared war? Information and love. Information. I'm going to provide you the information. That's the reason this happened. I don't blame the uh, individual people. Uh, it, is that we have not provided the information to the children as they're growing up. We've been running the improper tests. Uh, and then uh, we just medicate uh, to the illness. And we're getting fancier in the things that we uh, invent all the time when the emphasis should be on prevention. Mark Hyman would say in his books, you can, uh, the blood sugars will drop within a week if you eat right. Look at the names of some of my books. End of diabetes, Dr. Joel Furman. End of it. Well, why would you use that word? On the hard copy of the book, uh, actually, this is a soft copy. My name is in the back. He asked me, out of respect, he asked me to review it. Uh, he's been in town a couple of times. A, a good friend of mine, Bob, beat him tennis last time. <laughs> well, if he, if, if he saw me saying that on TV, he wouldn't like it. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, uh, Another, another one, too, uh, that have been written, Goodbye, Diabetes, by Wes Youngberg. Just look at that. Yeah, goodbye. You can get rid of it. I'm, I'm trying to uh, uh, con convince you here. So over the years, I've written a number of books, and, and slowly you can tell that I'm probably getting a little, getting a little more uh, pushy about it because uh, when I see so many people who've been amputated uh, in wheelchairs, they will, on the average... If, if you type your diabetes, you do nothing about it, you will die on the average 25 years before your time. 
you're 30 last year, you may be disabled in amputation or blindness uh, or uh, uh, sexual uh, problems or skin rashes or unannounced heart attacks. 50% of the heart attacks occur uh, and you die. No angina, nothing. Let me review with you a minute. I'm trying to motivate you, okay? But it's truthful and scientific. Here, you can pick up a copy of this at the Three Rivers Pharmacy, where I see people for nothing on Friday like I did this morning. Uh, you, you can get this on one side. I have testing, okay? On the other side, I'm telling you what the complications are. The start of the, the dementia, Alzheimer's disease, you know, they'll tell you that Alzheimer's disease is a genetic disorder or something you can't help. It. Wrong. 70% of Alzheimer's disease memory loss is due to diabetes. Yeah, papers have been published in one recently. The IDE enzyme, insulin degrading enzyme, uh, when you have type 2 diabetes, your insulin level is up, okay? Uh, and, and that enzyme has a job of getting rid of insulin. But it's so overused because your insulin level is up, there's not enough ID enzyme left. You know what the other job of the ID enzyme is? To get rid of amyloid. Amyloid's the cause of Alzheimer's disease. That's why people get it. There are a few other little reasons, but that, but that it, it's a big one. So dementia, strokes, cataracts, dental disease, almost all dental disease is due to uh, sugar, the booger, okay? That causes uh, diabetes because we gain weight. Thyroid disease, heart attacks, liver transplants, kidney transplants, bowel diseases, adrenal d diseases, skin diseases, amputations. Can you imagine walking around on a dislocated joint or your legs amputated for the last few years of your life, okay? And, and these occur, this is real. You can go to certain restaurants in town and you'll see some of these people there. It's the type of food. It's not because it's genetic or you inherit it. It's because of the, type, of the type of food that we're eating, okay? So that's critical. I'm trying to motivate you to a change, but you must participate in your health care. So as this is coming along here, uh, I started writing uh, more books. They're all on Amazon, probably 20 books. Yeah, I got one, The Scam, The Racket, The Fraud of Type 2 Diabetes. Well, isn't it a fraud when the hospitals... Uh, and the uh, uh, medical people don't attack this to get rid of yours instead of, here it is. Now they put an insulin pump in, and I see children who've got a pump in, uh, which pumps in, according to what you eat, it pumps a, a little bit of insulin in there, uh, or it gives you a, a portal how to, uh, uh, to do it. The trouble is the kids are eating an awful lot of food instead of requiring 10 or 20 units of insulin and now they're getting 100 units of insulin, and insulin has, does other things besides put sugar into the cell. It's supposed to hit these receptors in your cells. Insulin pushes sugar to the cell through these receptors, the, the door openers. But if you take insulin shots, the insulin level goes up. It makes your artery stiff. It causes dementia. It causes cancer. It causes skin rashes. I can go on and on. The, the, insulin's only job is not to transfer sugar into the cell. It has many other side effects, so you want to avoid it. Interesting story. Uh, a, a book, I, mean, I already was teaching this because of Mark Hyman's work, uh, Dr. Furman's work, uh, Dr. Younger's work, but I ran across this Joseph R. Kraft book here. Okay? You've got to read this. To me, this is the bottom line. The bottom line. He did his research in the 1970s. Dr. You can see him on YouTube, Joseph Kraft YouTube. 92 years old, you can want, listen to the conversation. What, what, what he did, he was a pathologist. He autopsied uh, 3,000 people. So now you're looking at the bottom line, autopsy, 3,000 people. And he found uh, that almost all vascular disease is called by rise in insulin. Hmm? Page 48 of the book. I've read the book five times now. Easy to read, night or two. Yeah, page 48, it's, it's, it's right on there. He did all that research at the University of Illinois. Then he studied 14,383 people, uh, which his fellow doctors, and they ran glucose tolerance tests where you swallow some sugar, and they fasting, one hour, two hour, three hour, 
You only need two hours. And then he also ran serum insulins, okay? Uh, that's the one that pushes the sugar into the cell at the receptors. So you ran glucose tolerance and serum insulins. Uh, uh, and uh, he found that, that the serum insulin is the first thing to rise. 15 years before you have an abnormal glucose tolerance test. So we ran serum insulin on people and even screened children with it. We'd be killing this epidemic with information. Yet I speak to the head of pediatric society, state of Indiana, a very nice, very nice doctor, very nice. Okay, good heart, great guy, but he never calls me back, okay? So he ain't gonna change the way they test for it. Dr. Kraft started testing at age three to 90 and, and determined a significant number of children had elevated serum insulins between age three and seven. And then between uh, a, a bunch more uh, after between eight and, uh, and, and 12. So if we screen people like that, okay, uh, we could kill this epidemic we'd win this war. And to do it on adults, we'd be cutting health care in half, at least, because 50 diseases associated with type diabetes, they could be avoided. You see, what they're doing today is maintaining their disease. They're keeping the war going. It's like a Mideast war, you know, they kind of keep on going. It isn't that it's, you know, two years and it's over. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a war, they keep on going, they, they keep on, uh, bringing more more uh, uh, more problems and uh, more more conflict, in, instead of uh, information, love, and say the war is over. I'm going to persist on this through information, TV shows, radio, lectures. I do it all. Join me. Join my join my uh, uh, army. So I love this book by Dr. Dr. Kraft uh, because insulin punches a hole in the endothelium. And that's once cellular thick, and that's the beginning of atherosclerosis. That's the beginning. Fat comes in there, but the beginning is damage to the endothelium. Page 48, he lists all the vascular diseases. I've never met a physician unless I gave them the book they had ever read it. I don't get it. Industry, money, ignorance, cognitive dissonance, I do not know. All I know is I'm on the, on the path. So I already told you about the book I wrote, the, the Scam, the Racket, the Fraud of Diabetes, because it's a fraud. If, if we don't tell people how to get rid of it and just give them pills, and I respect diabetes, uh, uh, I, I just don't accept it. So my next book I wrote called, <laughs> look, listen to this, The New Slavery. Well, listen, look at the hands, blacks and whites, so all included, okay, except some racial groups some racial groups, it's more common, twice as common uh, in blacks. Uh, in Mexico, even worse, okay? You notice they, inc they increased the tax in Mexico recently uh, for sugary products because that's really the, the cause of most of it, not all of it. Fat, bad fats play a part too. Uh, uh, yeah, they did that. A lot of places and areas are continuing a sugar tax uh, to discourage through elasticity of demand, if you increase the tax, it will be demanded less. In Chicago, they passed it, but then they reversed it. Well, the, probably because most of the people had diabetes. And, and they, they're blind, okay? And they don't care if they die 30 years uh, ahead of the time or get their legs amputated. I don't know the reason. And, uh, but they overturned it uh, in, in Chicago. Uh, so more common in racial groups, and, and it's not because they're black or brown, uh, it's because they're eating the wrong food through culture, uh, southern cooking, I don't know the reason, uh, but I'm working in three churches uh, and, and, and people are cooking themselves, uh, cooking the right food, and they're normal now. You can be thin and have it too. 25% of people are thin and have diabetes. Type two. Type two is where you too much insulin. Type one is where you don't have any insulin at all. Okay? Dr. Kraft proved it uh, of 
type 1 diabetics, children, for example, uh, that were killed in an accident. Uh, they never had insulin because they had type 1 diabetes. No vascular disease. No vascular disease. Yeah. Uh, and, and when they autopsied, the Korean vets, the Vietnam vets, uh, many of our young people, 22, 20 years old, uh, they had a, a, quite a bit of atherosclerosis. So we can start in the very young. I, re, I wrote a book, I read a book recently that, that a lot of vascular changes occur as early age three, four, five. So to do serum insulin testing, the very young, uh, I, I think is critical. I, I don't know how I'm going to get the pediatric people to change because uh, that what stopped the children because a lot of them are going to die in their 30s, 40s, and 50s from unannounced heart attacks because they've had diabetes all along. It's not just the overweight kids. Some are not overweight and have these, these changes. You are what your blood work is. So what's the right test? Glucose tolerance test? Insulin assay test, okay? That's the correct test, not just the blood sugar or, well, he's 16 years old now, we'll get a blood sugar. No way. Uh, you need to evaluate, and, 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 and Dr. Barula, a pediatrician in town who I highly recommend, he understands this. He's read this, this book, uh, he, and he does pull some serum insulins in, in children. That's what I want to see uh, so uh, we uh, can stop this war in its track. So uh, some people are changing. Uh, a lot of people come up to me and say, I lost my diabetes because I did the things you say in your YouTube shows that I uh, can go to uh, YouTube, Rita Cashman Diabetes, boom, they pop up. You gain a lot of information. So the next book I wrote uh, is called Rudy's War on Diabetes. Rudy's War on Diabetes. Now, why did I declare war on diabetes? You can get this on Amazon, incidentally. Uh, because of lack of progress in the community, okay? I've been saying this for over 10 years, uh, and uh, the uh, medical society, the State Medical Society, uh, Diabetic Association, they, they, they barely notice this information and don't say, we, we don't agree with you. And no one ever showed up, or they don't say, we agree with you. Uh, it's all in these books, and not just my books, it's other people's books. Uh, so it's time to go to work. You know, not all of us like to read a lot like myself. I'm out of hand, no doubt about that. Uh, but the information is, is gathering. Uh, there's a cookbook which I really like, Quick and Easy, uh, by Dr. Furman. Dr. Furman is world famous, world famous. He wrote that book, Eat to Live, okay? Uh, if you read, say, want to read very little, and just get this cookbook, uh, and you can hear smoothies in there, breakfasts in there. I'm going to talk about some movies in a minute. Uh, you can just turn to any page. What's this? Black bean and avocado salad. Every page is, is, has good food on it, has a picture of it, tells you uh, what's, what's in it. And, uh, you don't have to read anything else. You do the six weeks, 90% chance you're type 2 diabetes. Goodbye. You probably live to be 100. If not, if you get diabetes. This book here, Diabetes Health Disparities. Clearly studied. Clearly studied. You'll probably die 25 years too young and maybe have 30 years of disability. Statistically proven. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's uh, get to work. Early testing. Early testing. Eat a nutrient-dense diet. Uh, foods of color are your mother. <laughs> okay. Uh, to have a smoothie in the morning is a good idea because the vitamins, the minerals, the phytochemicals that run the machinery of your body are in a smoothie. Uh, and, uh, and you have a lot of fiber in, in, in the smoothies. Uh, juicing has less fiber, but it's still full of phytochemicals. Yeah, smoothies or juicing, uh, 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 it's good to have one every day, uh, and then it satisfies my appetite, so I don't get hungry. And, I, and for breakfast, I have a little protein with it, uh, cover eggs, cover eggs, for example. Uh, uh, 
occasionally uh, turkey baking, for example, uh, uh, and uh, that'll meet my nutrient need and its protein. My sugar level doesn't go up. Uh, and, and if you can set, like at night, if you don't eat after six and don't eat again until nine, uh, as a long period of time, uh, you'll be in fat metabolism during this time, not the sugar. There isn't that much sugar in our body, actually, okay, in the blood, not much, okay. Uh, and, and you'll go into fat metabolism. So if you're trying to lose weight, uh, the fat cells open up uh, and, uh, and spill some fat out there, uh, fatty acids, to keep you alive. They switch their ketones and, 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 and keep you going. Uh, so that's a good way in between meals, three meals a day. Uh, and, but try to keep about five hours between your meal because, again, you're going to go into fat metabolism and you'll start losing weight. Uh, and, and I don't recommend a diet. No diet. Type of food, nutrient-dense food. Get from its cookbook, okay? Uh, and uh, here's a good smoothie book. I have lots of them, actually, and I was writing one myself. But uh, uh, the Women's Health Big Book of Smoothies and Soups uh, by Lisa DeFazio. Uh, uh, I think it's a very good book. And, uh, and you can, uh, you know, have it. At the bottom, I put kale and some frozen fruit and uh, some nuts and, uh, and, and some curcumin and things like that. And, and I'm meeting my nutrient need. I, I, I love them. I have one every day. And uh, when I was busy working as a neurosurgeon, I'd even put in the car and drink it while I'm driving. Uh, but I have something else with it, too, maybe a little bit of fruit, uh, maybe a couple of eggs. Uh, uh, and uh, some Ezekiel bread was a good bread. And uh, here's, here's a berry probiotic smoothie, uh, for example. And uh, uh, so you're on the path. Like I said, this is not difficult. Uh, and if you're on medications, you should let your doctor know. Uh, but I'd be, be, uh, uh, and you're going to check your, maybe your blood a little more frequently. Uh, you'll be off oral medication probably two weeks, insulin uh, about three to four weeks. That's in books. That's in books. Uh, uh, and uh, so uh, Mark Hyman is another good one to read. Eat fat and be thin. Good fats, okay, like a mole, for example. What he's saying, sugar is a booger in the hooker. Sugary products. You need to look at what you're eating. Does it have uh, uh, sugar in it? Uh, so I, I think I've given you quite a bit of information. Only a few minutes left, so I, I, I wrote a, what's called a spoken word, uh, which I can read to you maybe a, a, a couple of uh, uh, pages uh, on, on diabetes. Start spreading the news. I'm sick and tired of it. Diabetes is diabolical, crippling, deadly. I'm walking through the heart of it. I'll show you how to get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Why, why, why get rid of it? That's a living hell. Blindness, dementia, loss of speech, paralysis, loss of teeth, heart attacks, strokes, amputations, toes, feet, legs, renal and liver transplants. 30 years of disability, died 25 years too young. Why would you want that? Don't respect it. Get rid of it. Okay? Get rid of it. We all... We all hate it, okay? So my BMI is sky, sky high. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> I might die. Wheat belly, beer belly, stress belly, pear shape, and apple shape. We all hate. You get a pot belly, you're a diabetic unless you prove to me differently. Show me your blood test. Few people are overweight, uh, but belly fat is the, the, the main enemy. It's inflammation. So, uh, so but I... Our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. It's in the Bible, Corinthians 6, 9, verse 19. God's body given to you. You've got to respect it. If you're eating the wrong food and not exercising, you are not respecting your body. Mm -hmm. Rudy's good news. What a wonderful world. It can be prevented, stopped, and reversed. Eradicate. Don't just medicate. The time is now. Prevention, proven, powerful, possible. 
do it, do it. Heart disease and strokes are no joke. Memory loss, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease are no breeze. Dialysis, paralysis are no fun. Amputation, dislocation, and you may be done. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. I'm hoping the spoken word gives you more information. That's the reason I do it. So our body's on fire, destroying our health. 100 million people are pre-diabetic. Oh, I don't have diabetes. If you haven't had a serum insulin test, you don't know. You just don't know. I mean that. I know the science of that, OK? 100 million people or more are pre-diabetic. Dr. Kraft would say there's no such thing as pre-diabetes. If your serum insulin is elevated, you're diabetic. Mm -hmm. Clearly says it right in this book, which I told you about. Most are undiagnosed, not properly tested. We're blind to it. We have an inflammatory nation. It's across the world. China, India is huge. Sugar's a bugger. Sugar's a lipinator. It makes us fat. 60 to 90,000 people have fatty liver disease. They may be thin on the outside, but if you do a CT scan, you see the fat on the liver, which causes diabetes. Sugar is white, sweet, addictive, and deadly. Sugar, 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 I love you. <laughs> Don't put a donut out there for me tonight. Jutkin and Cleve, two doctors in the 70s, described it was deadly. They knew the science of it, but they were not very popular and not good public speakers, so the information did not get out, and industry destroyed them, the government especially, the McGovern Commission, under Richard Nixon, mm -hmm. it changed it to uh, at the request of farmers and manufacturers, and uh, so the government, the CDC, NIH, American Heart Association, Ansel Keys promoted the fat theory of disease when it was the sugar. Okay, all did wrong. It killed a lot of people. Sugar, fructose, and omega six fats are deadly, deadly, deadly. As Dr. Lustig would say. We have fruct and cooked. So sugar is half fructose, half glucose. Fructose goes to the liver. But because fruit has so much fiber, eat all the fruit you want. And uh, so sugar addiction and habituation is the Lex Luthor. It's that harder desire, the quick fix, the sugar, the sugar fix. That's your pain. The government supports the price, and that's not nice. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my stuff. I hope this summary here added a little bit more to the information that you might need. Uh, see me at the pharmacy Friday mornings for free. Attend my lectures. Go to YouTube, um, uh, 6.30 Mondays, uh, public access uh, TV. Uh, find me, and I'll teach you. And, and I hope you read some of these books, or at least buy that cookbook, uh, and, uh, and, and you'll be well. It's, the reason I'm so passionate about this, because you can stop all this disability, live 30 years uh, longer, and I hope you learn to sing my song, okay? And, uh, and I'm doing this because I care about you. I, I, I'm a doctor, uh, and uh, I've been teaching this for years. I have many different opinions which back me up, but I tell you, the hospitals, the government ain't going to do this. You got to do this. You got to join my army uh, and learn this information, and we'll have a victory, and you'll live to be 100, feeling good and looking good. I love you. I care about you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for uh, watching the show. Uh, namaste.